Hey guys, this is Mike here. So in today's video, we are going to go through the ways of flashing um, stock Google Factory image back to the Google Pixel C, which is this uh, this device here that we are having. And I actually I got this uh, off quite a very good deal price. So as you can see, you double tap, you can see the battery bar. It's working and stuff. So. Uh, now I'm just going to show you the way of how to flash this back to the stock factory image. So um, there are things that you will need to do. Uh, let's just um, let me just uh, unlock. So yeah, if you go to settings, you need to check for the uh, currently it's running. This is the uh, latest updates. It's on Android 8.1. So you need to enable develop options here. But like I said, in order to enable the developer option, uh, logically you need to go to about tablet, you need to tap on the end, uh, no, uh, pick number for seven times. As you can see, no need, you're already developer. So you need to go to the developer options, uh, USB debugging enable, OEM unlocking enable, right? So key in your pin. So yeah, as you can see, there's already OEM unlocking enable. Another word of advice is normally when you want to do flash, it's better for you to disable the security thingy. Uh, for example, the security. Then uh, this one should be disabled. So you can just choose none. Remove device protection. Yes. Okay, so once you have that done, you have OEM and OK enable. Now you can actually just. Uh, let me open it brighter yeah you can just basically shut down the machine and reboot into uh, what do you call it uh, fast boot mode for you to do the uh, flashing process so what you need to do now is to just shut down the device power off and yeah so once you're done with that uh, you can do the um, put to fast boot okay this is the fast boot mode so uh, for you to get into fast boot mode uh, what you need to do is to tap on the uh, volume down button and the power button at this side so when you press on it after you shut down it should bring you to the fastboot screen waiting for fastboot command so once you are into that then we can move to the uh, PC for the rest of the setup yeah so the next thing is to do is to do a fastboot devices to ensure the device is connected so as you can see the device is already connected so the next thing we need to do is to do an unlock so before you can actually do any flash so all you need to do is to do a fast boot OEM unlock uh, you should see a um, a screen a screen inside your tablet itself to say whether you want to unlock so you just press the power button to do the unlock boot loader or press the volume down to cancel. So what we do now is to press the power button to unlock the boot loader. So your boot loader is now unlocked. Yeah, you should basically see this message uh, due to the device re unlock. So you continue to boot in 30 seconds. So you just need to wait for that to complete. Okay, so what we have here currently is, um, as you can see, we have downloaded the um, the factory image for the Google Pixel C which is real so you need to actually <coughs> extract that and put it into a folder and once you are in fast boot mode what you need to do is to connect the tablet to your PC okay so the next step basically is to uh, extract the uh, downloaded images from the Google factory image where I'll leave a link in the description below and extract it into a folder once you have that you can see all the files here and remember to have minimal ADB and fastboot installed so that you can access the uh, fastboot uh, what do you call that uh, fastboot stuff as well as the ADB things then the next thing basically you need to do is to connect your uh, tablet pixel C to the computer so what you need to do now is to connect it once you've connected then you can launch Minimal ADB and fast boot. You can see now and basically navigate to your folder. This one is in F. 
CD Pixel C a Pixel C Ah, no, this is a CD Pixel C and you go into it uh, you should be able to see all the stuff here and CD to Ryu and that's all your stuff here, right? okay um, for most of the time I think the standard uh, way of flashing the stock factory image to the uh, Pixel C itself is having some issues I think uh, I tried that a few times I can't get it to work so now maybe we should try another way of flashing stock back to the Google Pixel C itself so normally this is a manual way of doing so what we normally do is to um, do the flashing of image one by one so ultimately what we do now is to first thing first is to flash the bootloader image so what we do is a fast boot flash Boot loader, boot loader image, right? So this one will be writing the bootloader into that bootloader section, and this will take a while. So let's just wait it out. Okay, so once the fast boot is uh, flash, we can do a fast boot reboot bootloader. Fast boot, reboot, bootloader to reboot the bootloader in the current one. So it will get rebooted. Just wait for it to finish. So once it's rebooted, then you do a fast boot devices to ensure the device is connected. So once that is done, um, then the next thing we would do is to flash the other images. So we can start off with a boot image, fast boot, flash boot, then you do a boot image okay then fast boot flash cache and cache image the deal. then the others will have you have your system and then you can do a fast boot flash recovery recovery image so when that is done you're only left with system and vendor image right so the next thing we do is to do a fast boot flash system with the system image so this will take a while so let's just wait for it to complete Okay, so once we are done with the system flashing, there is a few other options. There's a vendor image as well. Okay, this is what happened when you have the uh, vendor image mismatch on your Pixel C. So normally what you need to do will be uh, to download the latest Google factory image, extract out the vendor image, and you will need to actually flash the vendor image uh, uh, to the latest version so that it won't have this message popping up. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to actually um, flash the vendor image for the uh, Pixel C. Um, ultimately, if you are doing a stock recovery setting, so of course, at the end of the day, you want to flash the vendor image from the stock factory package back to the Pixel C itself to ensure you don't get a message that I've shown just now where you have a mismatch <clears throat> happening. And that actually applies to the uh, custom ROM as well. If you are actually flashing a custom ROM and when the custom ROM moves over to a newer version and stuff, you would need to actually take the vendor image from the latest uh, uh, we call that Google Factory image package and reflash the vendor image again to ensure that it doesn't have a mismatch appearing on the tablet. So what you need to do next is uh, basically to flash the vendor image. So first of all, you'll need to connect uh, your tablet to the laptop so you'll just plug it in okay as I'm actually switching my laptop when I was uh, doing the uh, under image flashing so um, just bear with me um, there are some permission issues doing it in fast boot which you shouldn't encounter if you are using windows so for this case is normally when we are check devices we do a fast boot devices but for this case we'll put sudo fast boot devices ensure device is connected 
So once you have the device connected, uh, what you want to do next is uh, basically to flash the vendor image, right? So if you do a list of file, you can see the vendor image I already extracted out. So what you need to do is to do a fast boot flash uh, vendor vendor g. Ah, sorry. Um, you need to put in the sudo again, sudo fastboot slash vendor vendor vendor.img Yeah, so you're actually flashing the vendor now, once that is done, um, yep, then that's all the process. So, um, so let's move on to the tablet for the rest of the setup. Skip. Continue. <clears throat> next. Next. Not now. Shit, anyway. Ultimately, I think that manufacturer messages now that you have it might be caused by the vendor image. So ultimately, if you flash the vendor image, that thing might not be there anymore. So ultimately, you can see now, um, we are actually flashed back to the Android, Android 1. Uh, just, let's just go back and then about tablet you are on. Go well, and fix your free patch, which is the latest one, right? So ultimately, um, if you have issues <coughs> flashing your Google factory image using the standard flash all method, you can use the uh, separate flashing method so just flash for each of the image uh, one by one following the order I think vendor image you can just flash it just that they don't have a man manufacturer message pop up on the screen so that's it for today guys if you have any question regarding this flash this flashing method just let me know leave a comments down below I'll get back to you as soon as I can and thank you for watching hope to see you again soon bye